How much do you know about Korean culture? In this fifth time, let's talk about mountain gyeonggang. The Korean peninsula is so mountainous that about 70% of the country is mountain lit. Among them, mountain gyeonggang is considered one of the most beautiful mountains on the Korean peninsula. Mountain gyeonggang, which is widely spread in Gangwon-do, North Korea, is 1,638 meters high and is well known not only in Korea but also in the world. There are 12,000 peaks made of odd-looking rocks and stones in mountain gyeonggang, and the valley that shines between them flows clear water that forms waterfalls and ponds. You can see various and extraordinary landscapes such as Gurung Falls, Bibong Falls, Okyong Falls, Sibi Falls, and Chongseokjeong and Samilpo, which are famous for the eight famous spots in Eastern Korea. In addition, it is also a place with high ecological value as plants and rare protected fish that grow only here in the world. Mountain Gyeonggang presents a variety of appearances according to the changes of the four seasons. Therefore, the name is different every season. And it is called Mountain Gyeonggang in spring, Mountain Bongne in summer, Mountain Pungak in autumn, and Mountain Gegor in winter. The word Gyeonggang, which we generally call, is derived from Buddhist scriptures. And there are many historic temples, stone pagodas, and Buddha statues in Mountain Gyeonggang. Mountain Gyeonggang is divided into four regions, with Pirobong Peak as the boundary which is the highest peak, Negumgang in the west, and Wegumgang in the east. The Negumgang is characterized by rocks, valleys, and bushes and the Wegumgang is characterized by magnificent and majestic natural scenery. The southern valley of the Wegumgang is Simgeunggang, and the coastal area including the islands of the eastern sea is Hegumgang. The water flowing through the valley of the steep slope forms a waterfall, and the Hegumgang boasts an outstanding view of a stone pillar standing in the middle of the sea and a lake surrounded by mountains. Since ancient times, many poets and painters have traveled to mountain Gyeonggang and created numerous poems and paintings inspired by the beautiful scenery. Among them, Gyeonggang Jeondo by Jeong Son, designated as a natural treasure, is the most well-known work. It is very impressive to draw 12,000 peaks of mountain Gyeonggang, as if looking down from an airplane. After the Korean War, South Koreans were unable to go to mountain Gyeonggang in the north of the Truce Line. Then in 1998, sea tours began and from 2003, land tours were opened and many people climbed mountain Gyeonggang. But now, tourism is temporarily suspended. I look forward to a peaceful reunification as soon as possible so that South and North Koreans can see the beautiful scenery of Mountain Gyeonggang and various places in the South.